everybody, I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing my 2021 planned wish list and these planned ideas actually come from two very cool books. The first one is this one right here. This is actually my grandmother's planned care book. So it was actually published in 1980 and it has many cool ideas that are very vintage and vintage images that I wanted to share with you guys. So this is going to be the first one. And the second book that I use for my ideas is this one right here. This is actually Wild Interiors by Hilton Carter. And this was published in 2020. So it has many trendy ideas and trendy plans for the new year. So yeah, I cannot wait. Okay, so number one is the watermelon begonia. This plant is so beautiful. First of all, because it resembles a watermelon. And actually, I found this plant in both books. So I'm guessing it was trendy in the 1980s as it is now in 2020. And on top of that, it's actually not so big. So it will be perfect for a small space in the apartment. Especially now that we don't have so much plant surface anymore. So I think smaller plants are a good idea. <laughs> Number two is the staghorn fern. And this plant is also perfect if we don't have so much space in our apartments because you can actually mount it on the wall. I think there is a theme here going on because yeah, we don't have so much space so maybe that's why I'm thinking about this plant. But yeah, this is a beautiful fern. And we actually saw her cousin in the conservatory in Toronto when we did the tour. I don't know if you remember. That one was really beautiful too. So yeah, I hope that we can find it and I'm thinking that maybe if we do find it we can put it on top of Jan's desk because we have a big wall there so we could even put three or four we will see but it would be nice to just put some plants on the wall there. Number three I only found in the wild interiors book so in the 2020 book I didn't find it in the 1980s book and that doesn't mean that it was not there maybe it was just not so common in those times and now it's becoming more trendy and it's so beautiful you guys. This one is the Stefania erecta. I don't know if you have seen this plant, but the moment that I saw it, I was like, okay, I really have to put that in my wish list. This plant is so unique. It comes in a potato-like tuber and the leaves are circular and to me, they look like limes almost. It's just such a beautiful plant. So I really hope that we can find it here in Berlin. If we do find it, of course, I will let you know. But if you have one, make sure to send a picture. I would love to see yours. Number four, and I cannot believe I'm saying this because I always thought that this was not a plant for me because it's really difficult to care for but it's the fiddle leaf tree. Now, this is because since we saw this plant in the Toronto Conservatory tour, I don't know, it was such a special plant. It really stood out to me. It's a beautiful plant, that's for sure. I think that I just have to be ready for it because it's a little bit more difficult to care for. But if you have a fiddle leaf tree and you know some tips about it, please let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I would love to hear how is your experience with yours and if you recommend having one. <laughs> but yeah, this one is for my list for next year. And number five is the fan palm. This one I did not find in the 1980s book, but apparently it is becoming more trendy lately. And when I saw it, it's really beautiful too. It really caught my attention because it looks like art. It looks like a fan. I love when we find other shapes and textures and feelings in a plant. So how a plant reminds us of something else. And this plant really does look like a fan and I think it's so beautiful. So yes, these are my first five plants for my plant wish list. So if you have plants in your wish list that you would recommend for my wish list, please make sure to comment below and I can make a second video about this and we can just share all of our wish lists. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you got some ideas for your own list. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay. Ciao! <laughs>